Welcome back. If you are house shopping in Toronto, get ready to sign that massive check because those prices are significant. <laughs> Mike Apple, good morning to you. Yeah, they sure are. Good morning, Melanie. How are you doing this morning? I'm all right. I'm all right. It's, it's Wednesday. It's hump day. We're doing yeah. well. As I clear my throat. Yeah. <clears throat> there we go. <laughs> there you go. Uh, yeah, prices went up. Uh, you know, it, it's sort of fitting that we uh, closed 2020. The uh, volatile year such that it was in the real estate market and who would have who would have guessed that in the middle of a, a, a pandemic that prices would do what they did and sales for that matter too but uh, for the month of December prices up 13 percent 930 grand through the GTHA and and you know sales spike 22 percent which was a bit of a head scratcher to some extent again it's just been about supply mm -hmm. demand record low mortgage rates uh, people have moved, you know, from the downtown out to the burbs. This has been a trend, and that showed up again in the condo numbers. Uh, condo prices for the year down 4% in the 416. So, you know, we talked about maybe the oversupply in the condo market right now. But, um, you know, the trend is continuing gains in real estate prices because there's nothing for sale. Yes. That's a huge problem right now. Um, our neighborhood, you know, price uh, property goes up two days later. If gone. that gone, gone. And that's that's a trend no matter where you are pretty much right now. It is wild right now. We'll see how long that yeah. lasts for uh, tech stocks mm -hmm. taking a bit of a tumble here. Yeah, the uh, the Democrat um, uh, Democratic uh, Democrat wins uh, win one out of two, potentially maybe both in the Senate uh, runoff election in Georgia last night perhaps tipping the balance of power in Washington. And this has major implications because all of a sudden you're thinking, okay, the Biden administration might come in with a full mandate to do all sorts of things and not see as much of a pushback uh, within the U.S. Senate. Uh, there's still going to be all sorts of debate and um, uh, negotiations, certainly on any legislative measures. But front and center, you'll see the tech sector potentially seeing more scrutiny from an antitrust standpoint, mm -hmm. from a taxation standpoint, there has been all sorts of talk about uh, inequities related to salaries, you know, how much uh, these stocks have gone up, what's it meant for their owners, uh, you know, in the state specifically, the possibility of a stimulus deal, a much larger one than was just signed uh, a week and a, a bit ago at $600 per American. That could quickly be ratcheted up to $2,000 in very short order in the next few weeks. All of this has market ramifications, Melanie, and we're watching this morning. The tech stock's down over 2%. The Dow Jones up by more than uh, 100 points right off the bat. So there's volatility, certainly expected here in the short term. Indeed, and we're going to continue to watch what's happening in Georgia mm -hmm. throughout the day. I mean, yes. uh, we'll, we'll, who yeah, knows well, exactly when right. we'll Too be able to get in one, of the, one of those in one of those races. Right? You got it. Um, also, yeah. if you are driving anywhere, get ready for a bit of a jump in those prices. Yeah, the price uh, for gas expected to go up uh, three cents per liter tomorrow. As we've seen the price for oil clear fifty dollars per barrel. First time uh, in 11 months we've seen oil above a 50 mark and the uh, reason? Well, the Saudis, Saudi Arabia, yesterday announced a one million barrel per day production cut. It's not a huge amount, but it's a signal to the market. The Saudis saying we're trying to help out the smaller members within the OPEC cartel uh, from price stability. So here we go. The uh, you know we're not supposed to be driving as much, and, and that's in the short term, uh, not going to cost us as much because we don't have to fill up so often. Nevertheless. We'll see the price for gasoline. It's still where below where it was this time a year ago, but it's inching higher and expected to do so in the short term. Oh, Mike, we have run out of time, my friend, but we'll chat with you again tomorrow. I just All noticed right. we're matching a little bit. See the green on my dress? Looks like the green nice. with your microphone. See? The microphone. See that? That's very nice. Like I planned it. Matchy, matchy. There you go. <laughs> Bye, Mike. Twinsies. We look Thank exactly you. the same, don't we, Devo Brown? Mike and I. Twinsies. 100%. Like it's like looking in a mirror when exactly. you look over an apple, right? <laughs> same, same. <laughs>